Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I know the name is a little bit long, but I'm sure you've run into this before and I want to share how I approach it and hopefully this will help you out. Okay, we've got a list of customer names and we've got annual sales across to the right. You'll probably have some other variable or measure that's on an annual basis. What I'd like to see is what is the average discount um, for that particular customer, right? So we bring the discount over. We're going to just bring it up here. And we're going to change this to discount. Uh, no, discrete. And wait a minute. That doesn't give it to me by year. It gives me the average discount, but only for a particular year. The way we get around that is we're going to need a, uh, a fixed expression, level of detail expression. So we're going to call this average discount over years or over time, probably be better. What I'm going to do is you start out with the squiggly bracket. We're going to have a fixed function and we want the fixed function to be based on the customer name. And what this means is it's going to, then we put in the, I'll tell you just a second. We're going to put in the formula we want. We want the average of the discount rate. And what this is saying is regardless of the filters that you have, so you see a filter by year, or you got a split by year, forget about that. We're just going to combine it all together, We're going to have the average discount for that entire customer, regardless of the year or what other region or whatever else you might put in there. Okay, we're gonna click OK. And now we're gonna bring the average discount and we're going to change this to discrete so it gets rid of this whole item here. Otherwise, it wants to give you a timeline. And then we're gonna just format this as a percentage There you go. So now you can start to see, oh, Aaron Hawkins, Hawkins has a 9.1% average discount. Make this a little wider over those many years. Now, what's very hard to see here is you scroll down zero. This person here, Ratner, you, the zero gets lost with all these numbers. What we can do is come under format that particular field under numbers. We're going to come under custom. And you'll need to look up the specific items, but custom. So that's the pot what the positive value looks like. You have a negative, it's going to be 0, 0.0 cent, and then semicolon, and then the last value is going to be what does the zero look like if it's a zero? We're going to have two sets of double quotes, so zero will be no space or it will be blank. Apply that. Now when you come down, it jumps out at you. See if you can see there's another one. Oh, here's another one. That's much easier to see. Now you can also do this if you have a function or a measure that returns a null. Usually null will show up. That, work, that happens if you're joining multiple tables. A null might show up if you're left joining, and this can get rid of that null. So instead of seeing a zero where you're thinking, oh, okay, was there something, but it just rounded to zero, now you know that there was nothing there. 